everybody. I am here with Associate Head of School Mike Drew, and we're going to talk a little bit about some of the things that are upcoming in the second half of the school year. Um, really busy time of the year for teachers, students, families, um, and it's an exciting time of the year. So what do we have coming up? It's got a lot going on. Um, pleasure to be here, Mr. Hodges. Thanks for inviting me, as always. Always. Uh, so I think the most immediate thing to talk about, and, and you might have read some of this in Campus Connect in some emails before break, but we have an exciting professional development coming up in February. And leading up to that, there are some opportunities. Um, the Center for Transformative Teaching and Learning is holding some webinars, so there's still time for you to sign up for those. Uh, the link was in Campus Connect last week. Um, and also the always popular Teachers Teaching Teachers is coming up. So we're looking for folks who are interested in sharing their knowledge and expertise with the rest of the community. Uh, we need lots of folks to participate in that. And so if you have an idea, something that you want to share, we'd love for you to submit a proposal so that you can offer that um, that same day during that professional development day. Well, no, that's, that's always an awesome day. Um, and it is, it's really useful. And I know that there's a tremendous amount of work that goes into planning for it. But, you know, those are the days that, A, they bring us all together, um, which I think is really important as a school, but also just some different learning opportunities and opportunities for colleagues to interact with each other. So, so thank you for that. What else? What else do we have going on in the spring? I know that there's a ton. Yeah, and so also this is that exciting time of year where those of you who are interested in applying for an Anstrauer would, would can do that. And the deadline for that is at the end of February. So there's still plenty of time to consider that. Uh, but it's such a wonderful mm -hmm. opportunity for our folks and such a tremendous gift from the Anstrauer family to provide those resources so that folks can dream big yeah. and do something exciting from a professional development perspective that they'd never be able to do otherwise. So Get those creative juices flowing, submit those proposals by the end of February, and look forward to announcing this year's recipients at post planning. That's awesome. Yeah, I mean, I would highly encourage everybody to do so. It is, it's, it's a unique opportunity that we have at Bowles because of the Ottenstrauer family. And it is, it's a up to $10,000 grant mm -hmm. that essentially gives a teacher the opportunity to go and do something that is is beyond what we would normally be able to offer in terms of professional development. And so it's that dream trip, it's that once in a lifetime experience that is going to transform you as a teacher, but also transform how you interact with your students. And what you can bring back is often the most important thing. And we've had some just truly remarkable trips. I mean, yeah. it, is, it is something that um, if, if I was eligible, I would be applying every single chance that I got. Um, so yes, get your applications in. Mm -hmm. And third, what else? Well, we have this little uh, student information system thing going on. So we are just a small, minor thing. Um, we did announce before, um, and Paul had shared this with, with folks, Paul Soli, that we selected Veracross as our student information system. Um, there really isn't a lot of detailed information to report on that right now, but uh, there is a lot of planning that's going on behind the scenes. Uh, Paul is working with our own IT folks and Veracross to think about how we're going to migrate our data that's that's currently in our system into Veracross so that we can begin using it this summer to make schedules for the middle and the high school and to use it as our registrar so that we have all of our information about our families and our kids in there. Um, there'll be a lot of training that's happening uh, it, with individuals this semester, folks who will be high use of Veracross. Um, but we'll all have an opportunity to get to know more about it once post planning starts. Um, potential through the summer, um, some optional trainings for those who might want it. And then, of course, when we come back uh, at the beginning of next school year, it's hard to think, hard to believe we're talking about the beginning of next school year, um, but, but that will be a, a prime time for us to learn about that new system. Yeah, and it is, it is a heavy lift. Um, and there's been a tremendous amount of work that's gone into this, but I do, I do believe um, wholeheartedly that this is an upgrade for Bulls and it's going to make it's going to make a difference and so just thank you in advance to all of you that have been working hard behind the scenes all of you that are going to do a tremendous amount of work um, to to integrate our systems it is going to make us um, a more seamless school um, and more consistent across a lot of our different departments special thanks to Paul Soley and yes. the task force that that worked on um, exploring those requests for proposals and really disseminating it down into Veracross, which I think is, is going to be a huge win. But acknowledging that it is, it is a change um, at Bowles and, you know, change is always comes with a degree of difficulty, but we're going to do everything that we possibly can to make it as easy as possible for them. 
Um, so thank yeah. you. Yeah, and, and uh, the, the task force has done a lot of work, but I appreciate you saying Paul, and I just wanted to reemphasize that. You know, Paul has done a tremendous amount of work for this. Um, one of the hardest working people at the Bull School, and grateful to him and all that he's done to make this happen. And will do. He's got a lot more to do. He does. Oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah. Well, that is a tremendous amount. It's only a small window into what's happening. Um, thanks to the campus heads. Thanks to all the faculty and staff. Um, this is truly an amazing place, and it's an amazing place because of the dedication that you put into your craft each and every day. So from campus to campus, from lowest level teacher to most experienced teacher, thank you. Um, and here is to a great and blessed 2024, and graduation is going to be here before we know it. So thanks, Mike, and thanks to everybody out there for all that you do. Thank you all.